Hi, I'm Snehul Bhayani from the University of Oulu and presenting a work on semi-generalized pores from hybrid point correspondences. Many computer vision applications require registering a pinhole camera with respect to a system of registered cameras, which is collectively known as the generalized camera system. This problem can be solved by modeling it as that of estimating the semi-generalized pose, that is the pose of a query pinhole camera with respect to a generalized camera. The classical problem of absolute pose estimation uses 2D, 3D point correspondences in order to register a pinhole camera. But this approach heavily relies on accurate 3D points. On the other hand, 2D to 2D point correspondences can also be used to register a pinhole camera. In this case, the minimal solvers tend to have large templates and therefore can be impractical for real-world applications. Recently, it was shown that it is possible to use both 2D to 2D as well as 2D to 3D point correspondences for pose estimation. In this paper, we focus on this approach of pose estimation from hybrid point configurations between a pinhole camera which has unknown focal length and a generalized camera. In this paper, we have derived minimal solvers for semi-generalized pose from all possible hybrid point configurations and all possible camera configurations. Efficient solvers for very challenging configurations have been possible by exhaustively studying various parameterizations and solver generation strategies. Given a set of 2D 2D point correspondences and a set of 2D 3D point correspondences between a pinhole camera and a generalized camera, we aim to estimate the rotation and the translation needed to align the pinhole camera with the generalized camera. There are in all 7 degrees of freedom, 3 each for R and T and 1 for F. Thus, a minimal solver requires 7 constraints on R, T and F. The 2D 2D and 2D 3D point correspondences between a pinhole and a generalized camera impose algebraic constraints of, on R, T and F. Each 2D 2D point correspondence gives us one constraint and each 2D 3D point correspondence gives us two constraints. Now there are three possible hybrid point configurations and for each configuration we can have different camera configurations defined by the maximum number of 2D 2D point correspondences detected by the same pinhole camera within the generalized camera. In this paper, we have solved all hybrid point and camera configurations by trying out various parameterizations, variable elimination techniques, and solver generation strategies. Of all the cases, the most practical minimal solvers have been for at the case of H13F, for H32F with all camera configurations and the case of H51F where all five 2D 2D point correspondences are detected from the same pinhole camera. We have performed a comparison of solver stability using a synthetic scene setup with respect to the state-of-the-art absolute pose solver P4PF. Our experiments show that in the presence of noisy 3D points, the solvers using fewer 2D to 3D point correspondences tend to be more stable. We evaluated the proposed H13F and H51F solvers within a hybrid localization framework and consider four scenes from the Cambridge Landmarks dataset. Note that we did not test our proposed H32F solver as its template size makes it less practical for real-time use as compared to the other proposed solvers. In this paper, we have studied the challenging problem of semi-generalized pores from hybrid point configurations. Our experiments show the importance of estimating pores from hybrid configurations in comparison to estimating pores from the classical 2D to 3D point correspondences. Our solvers in fact fill the gaps in the arsenal of minimal solvers and as such can be used inside hybrid RANSAC.